causal, non-causal and anti-causal signals. Consider we have a signal x of t and in the x-axis it is marked as t and if we are sure that the signal does not exist for the negative axis, negative time axis. So if the signal does not exist for the negative time axis, then we can call that signal as causal signal. That means the value of the signal is zero in the negative time axis. For example, we were waiting for a signal and at 12 o'clock the signal started. So we can assign zero to the 12 o'clock and from 12 o'clock the signal is existing and the signal will be going on after 12 o'clock till some finite time or maybe it will go to infinity. We are not sure about that. But we are sure that the signal does not exist before time t is equal to zero or in the negative axis of the time and of course this zero is given arbitrarily. We can take any time instant as zero. Generally most of the practical signals are of this type. The time at which the signal starts can be assigned time t is equal to zero. So that is the usual practice. The signal can be mathematically expressed as x of t is equal to zero. See x of t is equal to zero when for t is less than zero. For the negative axis of the time the signal does not exist. So x of t is equal to zero for time t is equal to zero then we call such signals causal signals. For an analogy we can take the example of the birth of a child. Maybe if he born today then we can take uh, t is equal to zero for today in the case of the child. We are sure that he is not present on this earth physically yesterday or day before yesterday. You can argue that he was there in the womb of the mother. For analogy I am taking he born on the earth at time t is equal to zero. Maybe let us take it is today. So let us take t is equal to zero for him. But we are sure that he was not physically present on this earth yesterday or day before yesterday or in the previous month or in the previous year like that. This is an analogy corresponding to the causal signal. A signal that does not start before time t is equal to zero is called a causal signal. A signal that does not start before, so this is very important, that does not start before time t is equal to zero. This is time t is equal to zero is called a causal signal. Causal signal does not exist for negative time. The value of the signal is zero in the negative axis of the time. So these are the definitions of causal signals. So non-causal signals are opposite to the causal signals. We can see that the signal is present in the negative axis also. So we can write mathematically x of t is not equal to zero for time t less than zero. The signal is present in the negative time axis also. We are sure that the signal does not start at time t is equal to zero. It started somewhere in the past and it is going on through the present and it is going to the future. For an analogy, we can take the birth of a, a student studying engineering, right? So this is time t is equal to zero. The second year of his study can be taken time t is equal to zero. In that case, he was present on this earth before this time t is equal to zero. This is an analogy corresponding to the non-causal signal. So mathematically, x of t is not equal to zero for t less than zero. So the signal is present in the negative time axis also. So this is negative time axis, negative time axis, negative time axis. So such signals are known as non-causal signals. Let us go for some definitions. A signal that starts before, so this is very, very important. The signal which starts before time t is equal to zero. The signal is present before time t is equal to zero is called a non-causal signal. Examples are everlasting signals. Everlasting signals are best examples of non-causal signals. This everlasting signal can be periodic signal or non-periodic signals. There is one more class called anti-causal signals. So from the word itself it is clear that it is purely opposite to causal signal. Signal in which signal is present in the negative time axis but it is absent in the positive time axis. So the signal value is zero in the positive time axis. So signal was present in the past, it came 
and it stopped at time t is equal to 0. Of course, time t is equal to 0 is arbitrarily decided, but we are sure that the signal is absent from time t is equal to 0. Such signals are known as anti-causal signals. So, mathematically, x of t is equal to 0 for time greater than 0. For time greater than 0, the signal is not present. Such signals are known as anti-causal signals. So, we can consider again death of a person as anti-causal signal. For example, if somebody died today, then let us take t is equal to 0 for today. So, we know that he was present in the past and he had some beautiful number of years on this earth. But one thing we are sure, he is physically dead. He is not physically present on this earth from today onwards right signal is absent after time t is equal to 0 or the value of the signal is 0 after time t is equal to 0 so this is the meaning of anti causal signal now let us go for some definitions a signal that is 0 for time t greater than 0 for all the time t greater than 0 if the signal is 0 then we call such signals as anti causal signals otherwise anti causal signals does not exist for positive time axis. So, this is the positive time axis and anti-causal signals does not exist for positive time axis or its value is 0. Mathematically, x of t is equal to 0 for time t greater than 0. So, these are the definitions of causal, non-causal and anti-causal signals.